Open the notes and rest palette. You will find a tool for each rhythmic value. Select the quarter note. To add notes on the staff, click on the desired position. To change the rhythmic value, click on the corresponding tool, for instance, the eighth note. Beaming and spacing are automatically handled. Each rhythmic value has a keyboard shortcut, avoiding the need to click in the palette. They are the keys 0 to 8 of the numeric keypad of the computer. Using a shortcut, select the corresponding tool inside the palette. The palette does not need to be open. The shortcuts may be used at any time. To delete a note, move the mouse arrow over the head of the note and use the backspace key. You will also find the rest in the palette. They may be selected and placed on the staff similarly. You may easily add a rest of the same duration than the selected note value. If the quarter note is selected, you may add a quarter rest by clicking while holding down the shift key. The corresponding rest appears. Select the half note with the shortcut 2 and click while holding down the shift key. The half rest appears. Deleting a rest is similar to deleting a note. You can move a note or a rest directly with the mouse. To do that, a rhythmic tool or the arrow tool must be selected. Pizzicato handles the distances between notes and rests with the automatic justification. You can disable this function with the J checkbox or the J shortcut. Pizzicato lets you move notes and rests with no graphical constraints. Usually, it is best to work with automatic justification active and disable it only for specific cases. The stem direction of notes is automatically determined but may be modified. Select the stem direction tool in the main palette. By clicking on a note, you invert the stem direction. The shortcut I may be used, even if the tool is not selected in the palette. Move the mouse over the note head and use the I key. The note beaming is handled automatically, but a tool lets you modify it. A tool is used to cut the beaming.
The shortcut is the slash key that can be used without affecting the selected tool. To beam two nodes together, click on the second node while holding down the control key. To do that, a rhythmic value or the arrow tool must be selected. Select the chord tool. With it, you can attach several note heads to the same stem. To use it, click above or below an existing note. The shortcut is the A letter, and it may be used without affecting the selected tool. To add an accidental, select the corresponding tool and click on the note. Without affecting the selected tool, you may use the plus and minus shortcuts to increase or decrease the note pitch. To add a dot to a note or rest, you can use the dot shortcut on the keyboard. It is the shortcut of the corresponding tool and it may be used without affecting the selected tool. To delete a dot, use the contextual menu. Right click or alt click on the Macintosh. Another contextual menu may be used to change an existing rhythmic value. At any moment, Pizzicato can play the score. Here is a practical method to enter nodes. With it, you don't need to open the palette and you can use the shortcuts. To enter the notes, use the 0 to 8 shortcuts and click. To add rests, use the same shortcuts and click while holding down the shift key. To add a dot, use the dot shortcut. To invert stems, use the I shortcut. To create a chord, use the A shortcut.
To delete a note or rest, use the backspace key.